One hour maximum. Uh, Vernie's counting it up. We have just covered so far on this channel 1,224 games. And we're going to add six more today, which is awesome. Very happy about that. We're going to need our countdown. I'm going to restart that. And is one hour maximum. Nice. Uh, I just plugged in my controller. The wireless ones are charging, so I need to use the, the other one. The old one, which is much more floaty than the Xbox one. But yeah, anyway, uh, I did set this up, so we don't need to do anything there. Just might tweak uh, audio a bit. We'll see. Hear it. I need to sit up a bit straighter or today. Oh, sit right. Lana. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Who's that? Ilo, Ibaki, Nara Meo, Toraiki. What? Oh, we don't really need the language, apparently. Or is that... <laughs> you can turn off quick time events, by the way. It said to English. Okay, just making sure. That didn't sound very English, but... Oh, we can move with the left stick. I like the painted background a lot. Can also go slow. An analog stick movement, so. Oh. Ilo Ima! Nara Meo! Olai! Okay, I can talk. Oh, is this gonna go wrong? I pull up by pushing the stick up. have to hold down the left trigger if you're not under something. like their names, huh? <coughs> Situations like this, they need to go wrong for their game to pick up on some. Oh, yeah. Yes, I can push this. 
Ah, X is Oh, the sun's going down. Oh, he's rolling back. Okay. <laughs> Unexpected. So oh, it's a it's more of a guided tour so far. Oh, are they sisters, siblings. Games work without language at all. <coughs> but it's rare even for them to come up with uh, fantastic language. Ooh, some what is happening? Meteorite. Let's hope it's not an alien invasion. It's not meteorites. Ooh, okay. What? Oh, I didn't expect that. in the grass it seems. I like how the lighting changed. Oh. Wow. Gotta play Gen Zero after this. So they are taking everybody, basically. The robot overlords. Even the cook. Like, huh? 
harvesters. There was one with the searchlight up there, I saw you. This is a very short game, so I'm gonna keep it below one hour, for sure. Maybe 30 minutes as a maximum. I think the average how long to beat was four, four to five hours. I don't want to show too much. But I want to see if there's more to it than just uh, what we saw so far. Like, if it has a puzzle element or not, basically. I don't... I don't think it needs it. It has some physics. That is noticeable. I like how they're handling the lighting. Yeah, like I said, the painted backgrounds are pretty. This is very easy to get into. Ilo. It's sad as well. It's a nice intro, 15 minutes. That's definitely worth picking up if this is on Game Pass, right? If you are into a story adventure with a low low stress levels and a focus on the presentations and the story it's a good choice for it i think now we slept through the night we haven't been picked up by the robots
one of those little things. Huh? They're definitely asleep. John. Yeah, the, it looks really good. The game like, does does look. It's a bit of an odd mix of graphic Eww. styles, <laughs> but it works. Ooh, Cyclops piggy. how far I can see. I better not risk it. A Tomb Raider, who D. Tomb Raider Junior. Uh, yeah, I think this is where the puzzle element comes in. So sorry. That came out of nowhere. Okay, that was not the intention. I think we need two boxes, right? So we first have to get the other box. Oh. Push it down. Not a breaking. Okay, so there are light puzzles in this. the goal be like this okay we already reached the other side what's the second box for maybe we need it up here It's not. <laughs> it's Lana Lana Croft. <laughs> it's a bit. It's, it's you know. It's a classic platformer with puzzle shenanigans. How do we get past that one? Going, Jerry. Oh, that was too slow. 
a classic cyclopean meanies. Okay. In here, nothing. I think I'm doing something wrong here with the controls. Yeah, okay. It gives us enough time. <laughs> yeah, you gotta be really fast on that one. <laughs> uh. Oh, it's a platforming puzzle adventure. That did? Or is that very, very hard to sleep? <laughs> All right. Did you get any more time into uh, Diablo 3 yesterday? Ah, okay, that's a pressure plate of sorts. It was so weird to see Diablo 3 after playing 4, but it was also really cool as a contrast because it, it was... My brain was quickly picking up on why the third one was good. And what I was missing in it, and now I know why the fourth one is good. And uh, I also know what I'm missing in that one, so... They actually actually can coexist, they're doing completely different things. Which is nuts, but it's what I wanted from Diablo 4. Didn't expect to get it. I have not yet seen Companions, but I just finished the story uh, earlier today. Uh, who are you? Uh, um, so I have to see what kind of uh, extras come after finishing the main story. Because the game definitely opens up after you finish the story. Uh, meaning you can skip the story on later characters if you want um, and uh, it comes with uh, a at least one extra mechanic uh, for the uh, for the post story content uh, on top of the world tier increasing offering different monsters and uh, more challenging options for dungeons they've got one more uh, mechanic that they put in which is cool um, I have not seen companions yet. We do have the mount to move around, but I haven't seen uh, mercenaries or the like. Um, I wouldn't put it past Blizzard to come up with that uh, for an add-on. Um, which would be fine, I guess. But so far I would say they don't have it planned. So, there's a little thing trapped in a box. And we can let it out. And we <laughs> That's cute. Dear Imahana. Yeah. Can't get up there. Maybe I need to trap it in the box and push the box to the right. Hmm. Or just close the box. But yeah, I'm very curious what uh, what else is coming in the game. Um, but the main story was really, really good. And seeing how I enjoyed side quests and... Oh, that's not going to work. Seeing how I enjoyed side quests and... Um, dungeons as well. I, I think I'm in for a treat with that game. Quite happy with that. 
that should work then. Yeah, this is cute. Um, I'm reaching the half hour mark very soon. Let's see if that's going to be our companion or not. That little cute thing there. Where did you go? There. Ima. Yeah. Yeah, in the description it said it's a cinematic adventure, and that's really true. They uh, they focus on the uh, on the presenting the world while you explore it with light puzzles and platforms. It has a bit of physics, which is kind of. Sick. Um, but yeah, I, I think this is this is quite quite alright, and very pretty. Um, four to five hours for a playthrough, I think. It's, oh, it's the rough estimate. Hmm. Now oh, that doesn't look very stable. Lana Croft, right? <laughs> Falling down places, crashing from through floors. And it's yellow rope instead of white rope, but I see the similarities. Aha! Thank you. Very rubbery rope, but it works. What are your gaming plans for the weekend, Jerry? Do you have anything special planned? Some more Diablo, maybe? Chill out. If I remember correctly, you were playing Sorceress, right? Oh, this looks awesome. between a rock and a hard place that rock This is this. Spooder legs. Come now, little fella. Get away from the robots. Did something wrong. Oh, we're dreaming, right? 
Yeah, I think we're dreaming. But you have to find out for yourself. Because for such a short game, I'm not going to show the whole hour. That would be showing too much. Planet Lana, that's did they, they oh, off Lana? Planet Planet Lara Croft? What's it called again? Planet of Lana, maybe. Yeah, the Planet of Lana. Um an off-earth odyssey is the subtitle. And that's very much worth uh, playing if you're looking for a uh co cozy well, well, well cozy is really not the wrong not the right uh, description. Um basically your best friend's being kidnapped and also you're alone, so it's not really cozy, but low violence adventure, right? With uh, with platforming and light puzzles, presented beautifully with uh, good sounds and a nice soundtrack. Oh, that's that's that. First game for today. That's game number one thousand two hundred twenty-five discovered on this channel. Awesome. That's going to get into the archive. Oi. There you go. Now the count is correct. And we're going to head over to the next game. Which has not been received with open arms by players uh, on Steam. It's mostly negative, I think. Um, it's called Far World Pioneers. And we need to figure out why are people so angry with the game. 